on everyone, Chris with more machine tools, and we're going to be covering some laser stuff today and common issues that happen with them. Common issues with press brakes you see a lot is you start seeing an obstruction. This typically means that there's some kind of obstruction in the laser. It's picking something up before it's supposed to, depending on your mute point and your thickness. In your lasers, it's good to come up and look at your scale here. A lot of times you'll see your lasers are actually uneven, and they're shooting upwards towards the receiving end. You want to make sure they're roughly around the same distance, and you can make adjustments here to shoot a straight beam across your punch. So take your provided magnets here. This one's gonna be a little bit different. This is an iris system. A lot of times it's gonna be just a simpler, more laser safe. Take your magnet here, place it inside. There's a little groove for the tip. Make sure it's straight up and down. You wanna hit this box inside whatever shape they give you for lining up these lasers on the signal end. Same thing on your receiving end, just opposite side, same boxes. Throw it on, place it in the right spot. Check to see if it's lined up here inside this box. Typically you can see if it's straight at this point, but sometimes you may still have to adjust these actual um, arms up and down. So now after you check your laser and you see possibly that on this receiving end, you're too low, too high, too forward, too back or the left and right, you can come in and make adjustments on these lasers on to properly line it up to the receiving end. So now you can come in here, these are your up and down adjustments. It's not so much as one's up, one's down. They both do the same. Just either tighten or loosen to raise it up and down. This is going to be your left and right. So now that you're all lined up, you can see your transmitter has lights that are lit up. Nothing's going to be blocking them. No signal issues. Laser's going to be going across the bottom here, directly to the receiving end. As you see over here, there's different lights for if the laser's blocked. Other things to put into consideration while lining up your lasers is if your tooling isn't seated all the way, it's hanging down, the laser's receiving, it's seeing something's in the direct light of it. Same with your bottom dies here. If one's popped up, it's going to pick up that before it's um, technically should be picking it up. Um, it's good to go through and also wipe these off with a nice clean microfiber towel. I wouldn't use any liquids on them. Just wipe them off, get the dust off. Um, another big consideration is to make sure your material thickness is correct. Um, if it comes down and expects to see, say, 11 gauge and you have something else put in, it's going to trip that system and it's going to throw a fit because it's seeing something before it should. 